we have another smart camera, this little baby here. This is Smart Cam 01 from Ultron. And it is a 2K resolution, color night vision, two-way audio, IP65 waterproof, AI detection, got a tracker on it basically, H265 encoding, cloud storage, TP card storage, and we will be testing it. But first, let's get the unboxing done, shall we? Right, it's a little bit different from the one I've done previously to this. So it comes with a three pin plug with a USB socket. So perfect for not only powering this up, but if you should wish to use it for charging up one of your devices that uses USB. In theory, you should be able to use this. I can't see why you shouldn't. And it's got a bit of plastic around it, I've just noticed. Take that off. Didn't notice that earlier. That's better. It's got a nice design to it. I know it's only a plug. Oh, it's a bit more there. I know it's only a plug, but it's got a little groove there and one there. And I thought, well, that's different. So, yeah, it's a plug. It comes with some screws and raw plugs for screwing it into a wall. And a reset pin. I just noticed that in there. There's a reset pin in there. In case you need to reset to factory defaults. Very good. Mate. What's that say? Make safety visible. Now this is unusual. Now is it just an instruction manual? It is. It's got a QR code, a quality certificate with it. Know about Ultron. Ooh, okay. We make safety visible for everyone. From humble beginnings. All about the history of them. Very good. And the instruction manual. Sort of quick browse. Tells you all about it. Nice and clear. Nice and big as well. And a Q code. Yeah, it's very nice. Now, onto the device itself. Uh, I just find there's some noise going on. I just realised we've got the window cleaner here. So, the lens. Remove that. We have the mounting bracket. Not sure. That doesn't come apart. You know, so, you screw it in like that or like that depending on how you want it. So you can either have it on a wall like that, or you can place it on a ceiling if you wanted to. Yeah? And memory card, where's the memory card go? Right, the memory card goes in the top. Again, something a little bit different. Memory card and reset button, that's why you need that pin. So memory card in there, I need to get one out. I do have one, it's only a small one, but I'm gonna be using it. And where'd you plug in the power? Speaker, I'm assuming that's for the speaker. I can't, oh, silly me. <laughs> it's already on here. So that is a nice long lead, hopefully. It looks long. So hopefully it's about at least one and a half meters, if not two. Because you never know where you've got to reach it to. You can always get an extension cable. I will have a measure up right now, and then I'm gonna have a read the instructions just to make sure I know what I'm talking about and uh, yeah then we can uh, do an install so in the second part of this video we're going to do a quick install showing you where to get the software from how easy or how hard it is to install and then we're going to give her a test give me a second right so I've had a quick read of the instructions so I'm going to quickly stick in the memory card this is an old memory card that I've been using on other devices Checking to make sure it goes up the right way. I can't see. Looking at that, which way around it goes. I'm going to try it like, actually, it looks, looks like that, but it could be wrong. That could be right. Yeah, spot on. I'll put the cover back on, keep it safe. So that's inserted. Now, instructions say I need to scan that or that. So I'm going to scan that. Q code, we need a Q code. Uh, scan that, take a couple of seconds, browse website, right, download. Now you can get it from the Google App Store or the App Store from Apple. 
but I've just scanned that one. We've gone to Google anyway, look, see. Download it. Don't need that no more. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, get the plug ready while I'm waiting. I will do registration. You will have to register it as normal, but I will do that behind the scenes sort of thing so you can't see it. Agree to everything, terms and conditions, sign up. United United Kingdom, whatever country you're in, and you know, set it up. I'm gonna do this bit off the screen. Put a password in there, go to app, add device, right, I'm gonna plug her in. Click on that first. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna just agree to everything while using the app. And we need, I think this is the O1, isn't it? The O1? Yeah, Cam O1. So we want Cam O1, which is that baby there. Yeah, confirm, it's not blinking yet because I haven't plugged in. I'm gonna plug in right now. Right, she plugged in. I'm gonna go through its little uh, start up thing, I would imagine. Can't see no lights on yet. Oh, there she goes. See that? Doing a little test. So that it's flashing white. It's different. Uh, yeah, it's flashing. Uh, click on next. All oh, right, I need to put in my um, password for my Wi-Fi. I've done that, and it did come up and say to me, "Would you like to switch from five gigahertz to 2.4?" And I've said no because I want to see if it works like this. Here we go. I heard a prompt. Well, I heard something. Let's see if she connects. Because I have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz both on at the same time. Oh, there she goes. It does work. That is a baby. Job done. That was easy. Test. Oh, right, we're doing a test, are we? So what we're doing now, auto start. You can turn on the app automatically. Oh, there you go. Very easy, I had no issues with that whatsoever. And you shouldn't have no issues with that whatsoever. Right, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Actually, I don't need to see in my uh, videos that I'm working on or anything else. So what can we do? Let's have a quick look. What does that do? Right, full screen, okay. That is nice and clear, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit grainy there. But overall, they're pretty good. You see, see a bit of noise, yeah? Video noise, whatever you want to call it. Right, oh, I see, hang on, hang on. What's that? Motion detection, yeah, I'm moving it about. Does that, what's that do? Okay. Does it go up? No. Oh, it's a little bit fiddly. Come on, move. I'm not gonna go through everything about this app because there'd be far too many to go through, but I'm just gonna go through the basics and then we're going to have a look at the footage. So we have full screen, as you just showed you, and then we have navigation, and all you do is you hold it, whatever one you want to move it to. Easy enough, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So come out of there. We have record, so you can record it. So you just click on that and it starts recording. And that would be, I believe, that would be to your phone. I believe, same as photograph, if you, yeah, there you go. View album. So if you've got a memory card in there, it should be called to that continuously anyway, provided you've got it turned on, of course. Uh, let's go back to normal screen. I have it set on HD, but you can change it from HD to SSD. Can you do it in there? Uh, yes, you can. SD, HD. I'm going to leave it on HD because that'll give you the best results. Let's come back. So again, you can do photographs, recording, or mic. Again, you can do photograph, you can do mic, so if you want to talk to someone, say say for instance you've got it out the front and you've got a delivery coming and he, he's knocked at your door, you can say, hang on a minute, be there in a sec. You can do your recording like a show jar, and then this bit here, see the arrows, so that gives you your basics. Click on the arrows and then it gives you more information for you to do more. Now site, so if you click on site, I believe, you could have already tried it out, these are like your default settings. So for instance, if I want to look at the door, my back door, press that and it will go to my back door. Now press this one, 
and it will go to garden. I'll call it garden too, just to make it simple. And it will look at the garden. And you can add more. I don't know how many you can add, but I would imagine you can add quite a few. So it just makes it a life a little bit easier. We have messages. I shouldn't have any messages because I think I turned it off. Yep. Direction. Again, this is how you move it left and right. Like that. There's a little bit of lag there. As you can see. Yeah, easy enough. So if you messed it up and you want to go back to your default settings, just go like that. And voila, back cloud. Hopefully that's obvious. You will have to pay for that. They'll probably give you a 30 day free trial. I can hear noises. Oh yeah, I've got mic on. And then you've got your your features. Can you hear that? Sounds like someone's knocking at my door, but they're not. <laughs> we have playback. Again, hopefully that's obvious. That will play back whatever's on your um, on your memory card, not what's on your phone, on your memory card. Now, I haven't got it set to record anything at the moment because I turned everything off. Gallery, again, we have one picture because I did mess about. Oh, no, it's not a picture. It's actually a video. It's me thinking it was a picture. Now, will that go a full screen? No, it won't. Or it will do if I go like that. No, nope, go back. Oh, that's if you want to transfer it to a drive or email, something like that. Go back, go back again, uh, go back to, so we have motion is turned on, so if someone goes outside, might be one of my neighbours working, motion outside, motion tracking I've got turned on, HDR I've got turned on, night mode, you've got smart, infrared and colour, I will have a play about that in a bit, because obviously it's daytime, I want to see what it looks like at night time, so I will get back to you on that, siren, I'm definitely leaving that off. Uh, but you can turn it on or off. Just thought we'll quickly show you. Come out of there. Uh, light. Light is you can switch it on and off. I'm not sure. I think it's off at the moment. Yeah. So it's off. Or you can set on a timer. Again, very good. What else do we have? And edit. Now this will be, well, all different types of things. Whether we want to rename it, turn it on and off. Home device shortcuts. There's no quick configuration. Okay. I'm not going to even go into that bit. So that is basically that is basically everything there. Now you do have HD, you have speaker, or, any, or microphone, so you can mute that so you can't hear nothing going on outside. And we have, I believe, this is full screen. I believe, if it works. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. Oops, come out of it by mistake. Give me a second. Turn, turn, turn. Full screen. Not working. Do I need that? Right. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for then. I don't know. don't know everything. But yeah, that's the basics of it. So that is to move it left and right and up and down. Works extremely well. There is a bit of uh, graining a bit of uh, pixelating, but for about £40, it's not bad. I wasn't expecting it to be fantastic anyway, not for that price, but it is HD, it is 2K video, and it seems to be working fine. No issue with it whatsoever. Like I said, I will, I will do some day video and I will do some night video. So get back to you on that.
Right, what did you think of the quality? Don't expect it to be fantastic because it's not going to be. But for the amount of money it costs, I thought it was pretty good. I quite enjoyed the tracker, actually. It watched you everywhere. It seemed to keep up as well, which I thought was quite good. Obviously, if you get really close to it and you move really fast, it's not going to keep up with you. But it seemed to work really well. And one other thing that I haven't mentioned yet, and I'm going to have to whisper this, it works on Alexa and Google Assistant. I didn't mention that. But, oh, look, my Google's just popped up. Go away, Google. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, works extremely well whether you're using, you know, whether you're using it in manual mode or automatic mode. It seemed to work really well. Night vision I thought was good. You had the option of colour or black and white. I couldn't see how to turn the lights off. It said the lights were off, but they were still on. I'm sure they was. But there was so many different settings in there. I didn't want to go through all the settings and mess about and show you how all the settings work because there is just too many to go through like i said i do like the tracker it definitely gets my thumbs up if you're looking for a budget security camera that's got a really good tracker on it this could be the baby for you because yeah i'm quite impressed with the tracker yeah very good good in daytime good at night time it's not perfect but it never was going to be was it so with that let me know in the comments what you think whether you think it's you know well worth the money or not and uh, I think it's worth the money, but let me know what you think, whether you think about buying one or whether you think it's worth the money. And also, if you do decide you want to buy one, check out the links in the uh, video description. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.